Hey, welcome back. And I want to get one more pickup video in for 2015. So this is probably going to actually be the last video for me for 2015. And then we'll jump into 2016 and uh, do a whole bunch more videos. So, anyways, I did a, f a favor for a friend, uh, a couple friends of mine on YouTube and Facebook and all that. Um, Canadian Retro and Bill Benton did a trade recently and. Uh, basically, the way it worked was I shipped off um, a package to Bill from Canadian Retro, and Bill shipped me a package for Canadian Retro. And um, uh, Bill was nice enough to send me this game here, and it's uh, Tom and Jerry, the Magical Ring, uh, for the Game Boy Advance. And something I don't have, it's complete in box, um, very happy, and I was actually surprised to get this. I wasn't even going to open the package, and I just messaged him saying, hey, I got your package. He said, oh, did you get your gift that was in there? I said, no, I might as well open it now. So I opened it up and I found this in here. And uh, I, I thanked him then, and I'll thank him again now. Uh, but he told me, um, even the mule gets a carrot. <laughs> so I guess I'm a mule, so go figure. But anyways, thank you again very much, Bill. This was unexpected, and I, I really appreciate it. Next up, I went to a Value Village in Sarnia and I picked up w WWF No Mercy. Uh, this um, was four bucks and I figured, you know what, I know this game is really, really good. It's kind of sought after for a wrestling game and, you know, I, I can trade or sell it and, um, you know, get something I, I want because I actually have this complete in box. Uh, next up, um, as a lot of you know, I'm a big Vita fan, and you probably see it right about there, my collection. And um, I picked up another Vita game, and this one is Soul Sacrifice on the Vita. And brand new, I picked it up, and it was 12 bucks at Toys R Us. It was on clearance, and um, I initially passed it over, and I left. And then the next day, I was like, oh, I kind of want to get it. I went back, and they had two copies the first time I went there, and one the next time, so I picked it up. Uh, next up, I was in the U.S., and I went to a Goodwill down there, and uh, they had these... I picked up a bunch of PC games, and their pricing was all over the place for, like, for PC games for some reason. And the thing is, is usually PC games are priced the cheapest, and the reason being is they don't sell. Um, people like me will buy them. I love PC games, but they're not a big, um, it's not a big market for our older PC games. So anyways, I picked up a whole bunch of them. Um, the prices on the stickers is $3.99, uh, but they had this thing where it was uh, all purple tags are 99 cents. So I picked up a whole bunch. And uh, what confused me was that these prices were $3.99, but they had other PC games that were uh, $19.99, and I just don't see them. I, I've been back there, um, I picked these games up about a month ago, and I've been back uh, as much, as soon as last weekend, I was there a couple days ago, and those PC games were still sitting there. So, I mean, it just shows, you know, they got a little of these prices. So anyways, the games I did pick up, uh, first one here is uh, Baldur's Gate Tale, Tales of the Sword Coast. I usually like getting these in box and all that, but for a dollar a piece, I mean, why not? Uh, next up is Home Homeworld. Uh, Baldur, the original Baldur's Gate. I actually don't even own Baldur's Gate, so I was, I was excited to see those because I've always wanted to play them. Uh, next up is uh, Ice Dale, Ice Wind Dale, uh, Heart of Winter. And last but not least, Age of Empires, the Conqueror's Expansion. I always pick this one up, but um, it's an easy sell. Uh, actually, you know what? I lied. There was one more. Uh, Gothic uh, 2. And this one was complete in box, just like those other ones. And this one has, a again, a $3.99 price tag on it, but those other ones were $20. Bucks. I, I still don't get it. Also, while I was there, I picked up Scarface on the PS2. Again, it was a dollar because it's a purple tag, so I grabbed that as well. Um, i got to be honest with you, I, it's been so long since I picked up some of these games, I don't remember where I got them, so I'm going to show these two games next, and I don't know the price on them. Um, I don't even know if I, where I got them. So, um, Duke Nukem, uh, Time to Kill, and it's complete, and disc is fine, so I'm going to add this to my collection. Uh, 
and next up is virtual racing on the Genesis. Big Genesis fan. The problem is with Genesis games is I pick up one and I want to pick up a ton more because I love the system that much. And I found this and I'm like, oh, I want to buy more Genesis games just because I love the look of them. Uh, this one here is actually uh, missing the manual. But if you take a look at the size of that cartridge, it's amazing. I've never seen a car cartridge that big um, other than in virtual racing. And my buddy has this very copy as well. And uh, I remember seeing it for the first time. Man, that thing's huge. That sounds weird, but it is what it is. Um, another uh, buy at Toys R Us. Um, there was a sale at Best Buy in Canada. And basically, they were selling uh, this game here, which is The Evil Within, for 10 bucks, And they were sold out at Best Buy, online, in-store, everywhere. So I, I, I was thinking, you know, uh, when I went and got Soul Sacrifice, um, I want to see if they have this in stock, because I know they price match online prices. Not a lot of places in Canada do. In the U.S., I know it's not a problem, but in Canada, it's very difficult. <laughs> so... Um, I got, them, I got them to price match the online price uh, from Best Buy, and they were able to do it. I let a couple of people know on Facebook as well that, hey, um, this game's 10 bucks at Best Buy. If they don't have it at Best Buy, go to Toys R Us, they'll price match it for you. So hopefully, uh, these people are able to get this game as well, but uh, 10 bucks for the evil with it. Uh, next up, I went to a Salvation Army, and I picked up WWE Legends of WrestleMania, and the main reason I picked this up is because of all the uh, characters from like the 80s and 90s that I, I love, like Mr. Perfect and Bret Hart and Jake the Snake and all those characters I love are in this game. And I've been actually playing this and having a ton of fun with it. So it's a little bit arcadey, but it's to me it's a lot of fun. And from what I hear, you can also get um, is it WWE, -E, WWE uh, Raw vs. SmackDown or SmackDown vs. Raw 2009. It's compatible with this, so you can have like uh, Randy Orton versus Mr. Perfect. So um, I may be on the lookout for that soon. Next up, it's funny because I was just talking about Canadian Retro and Bill Benton. I was actually delivering um, Canadian Retro's package to him, and I messaged him and said, "Hey, can you meet at a Goodwill in like 15 minutes?" And he said, "Yeah, sure. I'll meet you there." I said, "I have your package for you," and you know. I'll just hand it to you there. Well, I got to the Goodwill a little bit earlier than expected, and I found this game here. It's uh, Steel Battalions. And I know you need the controller for this. Uh, Kane Reshner was telling me about that, and I knew that beforehand. I actually had the controller, and I was telling him I had the controller at one point, and I ended up selling it off when I moved because I didn't have the space for it, but, and I, ended, I didn't have the game at the time. I had um, uh, the expansion to the game. And I didn't have the game, I didn't have the pedals. So I sold off the controller, and now I find the game. So it kind of, you know, that's what happens, right? Uh, next up, I picked up uh, Xenoblade, Xenoblade Chronicles X. And this was, I think, $51 taxes in. I pre ordered this a number of years ago, and that's how I was able to get these deals. It was like 30% off. And um, I think that. The, the price of the game at the time was $59.99, so it's gone up now to like, I don't know, set 80 bucks now for the game. Um, let's move on to this. Uh, my buddy, he sold me a copy, uh, it's not a copy actually, it's the boxing manual for Killer Instinct. And what's funny about this is, I actually purchased this for him a number of years ago. And he... Basically, he found a copy, I was with him actually, uh, he saw it before I did, so I didn't put up a big fuss or anything like that. He found a sealed copy of Killer Instinct on the Super Nintendo, and he, ha he already had a copy, which I knew he had because I bought it for him, and he found a sealed copy for, I think it was 40 bucks. So, with the CD and everything, all completely sealed. Now, I knew he had this copy, he didn't want to open his copy, so you know, I said, uh, take the game out, sell me the box and the manual, and that's I'll take it for, off your hands for ten bucks, and we agreed to that. And like I said, a, a number of years ago, I, I purchased this for him, and basically that deal, um, the pawn shop that I went to had a number of uh, boxed 
uh, Super Nintendo games, and I picked up a whole bunch. I pretty much bought them all, but I spent a lot of money. And I, I was on the phone with them, like, yeah, which ones do you want? And I was telling them which ones I, I was keeping, and one of them was, the main one I wanted was Super Punch-Out. And um, I said, all the other ones are up for grabs if you want them. And he picked out this one and a couple other ones. So eventually, I got it back, but it's missing the game, so I need the game now. Alright, last but not least, um, I picked, went to a Goodwill here in Canada, and I picked up um, a bunch of games. Uh, first and foremost, uh, Tato Legend. Oh, I should tell you this. Um, oh, I picked up Tato Legends. Uh, but at this Goodwill, they, they're still doing, if you spend $30 or more, it's my, my fridge going off again. Uh, if you spend $30 or more, it's half price. So I spent more than 30 bucks. I got uh, all this here for, I think it was like 15 bucks or so. So, Tato Legends, I picked this up uh, for the PSP, and it ended up being $3.03. Also, while I was there, I picked up um, <clears throat> Bust and Move uh, Deluxe. And again, this was $3.03. Losing my voice here. Uh, next up, I picked up Midway Arcade Treasures 2. And the last two games here I picked up were actually um, they're Atari 2600 games. And they had a whole bunch in there at the time. And we initially saw them and I told my friend, okay, there's a reseller right behind us. Let's grab these games. And we grabbed the whole stack. We were walking around and he was like eyeing us and all that kind of stuff. And I said, you know, let me hold on to the games. You go to the back and you find the system. And he went to the back, he couldn't find the system, but we still had the games that we thought we all had. Um, so in those games, he kept some, I kept um, one, and then and another thing happened. So the one I kept was um, Riddle of the Sphinx. And this is, again, complete in box from the Atari 2600. Um, I still don't own a system, so I have a couple of 2600 games, but uh, no system yet. So. Happy to have one complete in box. Now the story goes on because the reseller found a couple more games and that we either missed or someone had put aside for him or he hid them. One of the three things happened. And basically what happened was I kind of started talking to him and while I was talking to him I was checking to see in his hand what he was holding. I was like, oh yeah, I found real of the stinks and a few other ones. They're all sports games. Um, you know, what'd you find? And he showed me. And, um, you know, he was, he didn't have enough to get the half off. And that's what he was waiting for. He was waiting for us to drop the games we had so he can add those to his collection and then get it for 15 bucks or half off whatever the price tag was. Well, we were kind of waiting there and my buddy was kind of, he caught on to this as well. He said, you know what, let's just wait around and wait him out. And... He initially um, was waiting around for us, to, you know, to leave them behind, and it, it didn't work out that way. So um, eventually, he left, and we looked at each other like he had to put those games back. He didn't buy them, and sure enough, he didn't. I said, you know what? Out of the games he's holding, there's only one I want, and this is the one. It's Burger Time. So he put this one back, and then we asked the cashier what happened to those other two games that he had. And she said he bought them. So I don't know why he left Burger Time behind, but he bought the other two. The other two was, um, I think it was like Space Invaders and uh, Galaxias or something like that. So anyways, he took those two. He left Burger Time behind. I'm happy because I said, you know what, if he leaves Burger Time behind, it's mine. <laughs> and that, that's basically how that conversation worked. I said, you can have the other two. I don't care about the other two. I have them already. Um, but I want Burger Time. So I got it. And um, the Atari 2600 games, I didn't tell you the price on them. Uh, they were $2.50 a piece. So five bucks for the two. So anyways, those are the pickups for the rest of the year. Hopefully you enjoyed. And until 2016, take care.